Hey, this is Jack, and this video is called Do Age Gaps Matter? Hey, welcome to the channel. If you're new or if you've been here before and you haven't yet subscribed, I wanna invite you to subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button and then tap that bell notification so you hear of new videos as soon as they come out. I'm a relationship coach and I release at least two videos a week on relationships and personal growth. So, hey, let's get into this. Just before I do, this is pretty nice. This is uh, Marbella in southern Spain, uh, where I've been for the last couple of weeks. And uh, it's a really neat kind of seafront. I'm testing my ability to put torsion in my spine here. It's been really nice to get a dose of Mediterranean sun and breeze. All right, so do age gaps matter? Here's what I think matters more than age, stage. Stage matters more than age. Stage of life matters more than age. What I mean by that is stage of life, like do you wanna retire? Do you wanna travel the world? Do you wanna start a family? Do you wanna take care of elderly parents? Like, what are the what is like the fundamental orientation for you in your life and does that have compatibility with your partner you know if you're 65 and you meet a guy that's 55 but you're both looking to retire i don't think that age gap really matters if you're 35 and you're ready to start a family and you meet a guy that's 25 or 35 or 45 and is also genuinely and i don't just mean trying to be there in order to stay in relationship with you kind of of his own accord and volition wants to start a family then i think that's probably fine i've seen plenty of relationships including close friends and family where there is a 10 15 20 year age gap and they work great because the stage of life is in alignment what i would encourage you to do is to have a real and genuine conversation about it. I wouldn't encourage you to kind of just leave this one to the side. I would encourage you to look at it head on and get authentic with one another and talk about it. Maybe there are some questions or concerns that you have, right? Maybe you're the, uh, the younger person in this dynamic and you have some concerns about whether down the line there'll be the energy to do the things that you wanna do, right? Or maybe you're the older person in the dynamic and you have some concerns about you know, whether your partners can hold down the same responsibilities that you can hold down, you know? I think this is really important territory to actually dimensionalize in an authentic and real series of conversations with a partner or a potential partner. And I don't think that it needs um, to, to be a deal breaker. I think in some ways it can actually, you know, add strength to a relationship. Here are some of the things though that you might want to evolve. Uh, evolve. Here's what you want to evolve. Here's what you might want to... <laughs> Oh God. I haven't had any drink, don't worry. Um, here's what you might want to avoid. That's what we're going for. Here's what you might want to avoid. You, <laughs> you, um, here's though what you might want to avoid. You might want to avoid a situation where one party is uh, unduly financially dependent on the other party unless you are genuinely comfortable with that arrangement. Right, so sometimes, not always, it can be that the, the older partner may have more income, more assets, and uh, it may be that that can create a, a, a power differential in the relationship, and that's something you wanna be mindful of. So again, if that's the situation you're in, I think you wanna talk about that and find productive ways forward. The other thing that you might wanna be uh, wanting to avoid is a mentor-mentee relationship. Right, and this will probably happen unconsciously. It's not gonna be like an explicitly named thing, but if, if, and this doesn't necessarily have to be that the older person is the mentor to the younger mentee. This can happen in all ways. It can happen that someone's kind of like a spiritual mentor or a healing mentor or any number of kind of mentor dynamics. But you wanna be, be mindful of that, particularly if you are looking for a long-term committed relationship, right? There are all sorts of things that you can learn in a mentor-mentee love relationship. Right? So I'm not saying that they're always, to avoid, they're always bad. They're just different, in my experience, than the relationships that stabilize out into a, into a kind of a healthy, equal partner dynamic. And most of you that are here and looking for committed love, that's actually what you want. So be mindful of that. The other thing that I want to put in here is that subjectively, an age gap may be more or less of a, an issue to different people. So 
permission to actually be authentic and to find out what is the authentic reality of your potential partner. Right? People have a right to have things that don't work so great for them or they have a right to their authentic concerns and doubts. So just because I'm saying that I think stage is more important than age and I'm, I'm curious if you find that to be true, that doesn't mean that for every single person out there that that's going to be the front of mind perspective that they're in. So there might be a little bit of, of conversation and dialogue. There might even be a little bit of um, education. Um, but don't just assume that because I'm saying this to you that everyone is on board with, with, with what I'm saying, right? Like permission for people to be themselves and to find out um, what is true for them. The last thing I'll say about age gaps, which kind of builds on my previous point, is beware of unconscious role dynamics. Beware of unconscious role dynamics, right? So in some situations, right, let's just take a classic one, right, where there's an older, super wealthy guy who tends to go for very young women, that there is probably an unconscious kind of role that's being played there, right? That might be like a surrogate father role, or it might be that um, it's really predicated upon uh, the woman playing the role of uh, the sort of beautiful uh, seductress, and that there's going to be a, uh, a sell-by date that might happen with that. That's probably not a good thing for you to be in if you're looking for a long-term conscious relationship. Right? So just, just notice if when you're talking about an age gap, you might also be talking about some other unconscious dynamics and I would I'd heartily encourage you to, to be able to distinguish them and, and, and not go for that because I don't think that's actually going to give you what you want. So stage over age, don't go for unconscious role dynamics and be willing to have an authentic and curious conversation where people get to speak their truth and hopefully you guys get to weave a shared reality that serves you as a foundation for the long-term committed relationship that you want. As always, questions and comments below this video. I'd love to know how you find this. And an invitation, if you haven't, come and follow me over on Instagram. I put out content on Instagram that I don't put out here. And uh, this year, I'm gonna be putting much more content out on Instagram than I did last year. So you'll see it. It's just the link below this video. Click that, follow me. Feel free to DM me there so I can welcome you. Send me a direct message and I'll look forward to being with you. As always, I'm Jack. Thanks for being here.